it's all busted again. So gluing a ABS plastic isn't the most successful formula for getting it right. Now I've been on the internet and uh, some very helpful guys have got some really good how-to stuff out there and I've learnt that I can now weld this with a soldering iron so I'm going to show you how to go about it. It's much more successful welding than glue. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is clean all this old glue off because the weld won't really be very successful and it's all that rubbish is gone. Okay, so now what? Here we have the join all clean back, right back to bare plastic. I'm looking at this, I've come to the conclusion that it has been repaired before, which is probably why it broke so easily. It, um, it broke when I was removing the ash, ashtray originally, and I thought I was responsible, but having a look at this, that undercoat is not um, not common with VW plastic parts. This piece is fairly badly broken. There's quite a few contours we have to follow here. So what we'll be doing it is tucking it in a couple of little places and then lining it up after that. Now because there's so much damage, it's difficult to find a point where we've got the original two joints. This is the the best prospect we've got right here where we can see the original contour of the piece. So that's where we'd be doing our first tack. We've got this got this area fairly flush through here, which is important. So that our first tack will be going here, because it's about the only place where there's any plastic meeting. Okay, well, what we have here is just uh, an El Cheapo little lead soldering iron that we picked up at a hardware shop for about $15. That's what we'll be using to do our weld. I'm now handing over to my camera woman because it's pretty hard to do this with one hand. We're going to this we're going to this spot here where I explained it meets quite well and we're going to just go straight in with the heat get both sides and that's a tack now take the well and try and fold it back in on itself and that gives you a fairly neat tack to start with we now have a situation where we've welded through here. These were all the joins actually met so we've been able to get a tight join there but we note that there's now still a very large gap through this section here so obviously that was filled with glue right from the start now we're going to have to fill that this console is actually ABS polycarbonate so we're going to use some old scraps here and we're going to melt them into that gap and then continue the welding process. Those scraps came from these broken tabs or well, we've repaired one here and one here but these were all broken, we'll replace them later. We're holding this bit of ABS down with this hacksaw to avoid burning our fingers obviously. We need this now to fill this gap so we're just going to run the soldering iron down through it. There she goes knocking down so we can get it down and running into that big gap there. Holding and pushing down into that gap. Okay. Right, we've um, got some fill on the top of here. Uh, that's held in place now by heat. But you'll see that we've made absolutely no impact on this gap whatsoever. So we've now got to melt all that fill down into that gap. 
you can virtually go right through. You actually want to be forcing this down into that cap. Don't be worried about melting the existing plastic. That forms an even better bond. Now we start to roll this fill into the gap. Keep pushing down, filling. Right, so we filled the whole area with ABS mud, for want of a better word. Now the broader you can get these stitches, the better. What we're trying to do is merge the ABS mud with the old surface, forming a nice strong bond. Don't be frightened to get a bit of depth into it. You now level those joins out a bit. Just go very lightly with the tip of your iron. Hold it sort of flat. And that saves a lot of sanding. Leave it on if you had need to move it around a bit. If it's not cooperating. But the flat gets it fairly good. From here we'll move to the back because I've found from experience you think you've got it but you have stitches into these, this crack here. I know we've come through with some of our mud, so we've got to get down to that. Make sure you get it from the back. If you don't, it'll still be not quite what it should be. Now, we're going to put some copper stitches in the back here. I'll cut that and we'll look at that in the next. We're using just copper wire yeah. as stitches, using this copper wire to um, reinforce the back of the of the crack. I've already welded one down in there, you probably won't be able to see it, but this is the system. Get the heat into that copper wire and keep pressing down and actually bury it into the into the ABS. Down she goes. Yeah. Alright, so we've laid the copper wire down into a groove. I've already uh, welded Four, four in here, I've pushed it right down with this iron you get the heat into the copper press down and really bury it right down into the plastic this creates a really strong stitch there we go, we're pushing down and down it goes into the plastic reinforcing the whole area right all those copper wires have now been buried by running the iron flat over all the ABS so that's really created a really strong job now time to sand this back and see what we've got okay here's the repair so far it's sanded up 
pretty well. There's still a few little holes that we can see there. It wasn't perfect, but by gee, it's pretty good. Now, I don't like heating those to fill the holes. I find it easier to use a brew. It's mixed up here. This is an ABS brew. It's mixed up, mixed up by using Lego blocks, which are guaranteed ABS. You see a few guys complaining that they're buying ABS and it turns out to not be ABS. Well, the, the Lego is definitely ABS. It's been dissolved in methyl ethyl ketone, which is just plumber's, plumber's priming fluid. And that's the little brew that we've got mixed up there. So we're just going to grab a little bit of that. and just use it here and there to patch up these holes that's how we're going to be doing it all the holes filled and back to pretty much original condition hope this has been a help for you